Hi everyone, and welcome to Greedy 3D. Well, today we're going to be building this. <laughs> so, what we're going to be making today is the T800 with the modified base and holes. There's quite a few variants of this model on Thingiverse, but the thing that sets this one apart from everything else is the holes are already in situ to thread your LEDs through. There's a space at the back for a little on off button. It just saves you getting a drill, screwing into it trying to find your cables which is a bit of a nightmare so let's load this one into Cura and make it okay so we've loaded him into Cura the T800 and as you can see that's the size that he's going to be around about 98 millimeters wide and 146 millimeters high I'm going to print it in standard quality and I've actually turned supports off for uh, for this build there we go that's off we don't need supports with this although it does look like you're gonna need supports based on the the red the red here usually shows supports I have built this one a couple of times without and had no real problem so let's slice the uh, file there we go all sliced um, one day to to print so that's 24 hours of T800 fabulousness and uh, we're looking at a cost of four pound 97 it's going to use just under 84 ish meters of filament uh, 249 grams so around about a fiver to print it so we'll print this and then we'll print come back and we'll print the base i'll be back So it's printed, um, but as you can see, there are some areas that have completely failed. These areas here, the little bit of air in his face there. Now, again, this is 3D printing for you. Sometimes this happens, sometimes it doesn't. If you're lucky, it doesn't, but on the whole, it does. So what can we do to put that right? In order to try and repair some of the damage to the T800, I've opened up a program called Mesh Mixer, which is a free program. Um, and I've loaded the model in. Now, as you can see, there's the model. And the areas that were damaged on the actual model itself was this area here. So the good thing that Mesh Mixer allows you to do is actually slice certain parts of the model away and just be left with the parts that you require. So let's have a little go, see if we can do that. So I'm gonna select Edit and Plane Cut, which then gives you, uh, as you can see, a, an option to slice through a certain part of the model and uh, let me just move it down to the area that I think we would need to slice through it which would be that area there sometimes it's a little bit difficult to see so let's slice it anyway see what's left behind there we go beautiful Okay, so there we go. We've, we've sliced away quite a lot of the model, just to leave the bits behind that we want to uh, we want to play with. So now I am going to export them. So after creating the uh, things that you can see now in Mesh Mixer, the the areas that haven't printed, we've uh, we've just took those areas. We've we've sliced down quite a bit of them, but still giving them a bit of integrity and we're going to uh, print those again. Now, the bits that we're after, obviously, are the only the bits that haven't printed, 
but we've just printed a little bit more around it just to give them a bit of stability. So let's put these on the printer and see what happens. But again, you do any kind of 3D printing hobby, just be prepared to fiddle and tweak. And the other option was to print the whole model again. Now, considering this is the third attempt I've taken to print this model, um, it just does not like to print these areas. It's failed on the third occasion now. So printing it again, in my view, is just wasting filament. So let's give these a try and see what happens. So the parts are finished printed and uh, I am really pleased with how they come out. There's the one part, there's the second part of the other side of his face. And thirdly, there's the uh, the kind of jaw connector. So what we need to do next is cut those out, and glue them in, and if any of the places need filling, we'll fill them with a bit of wood filler, sand it down, and hopefully on the finished article, you won't even notice. So let's go on with that. So there we go, finished product, or at least finished before we paint, and as you can see the bits that were broken off, ah, uh, there we go, repaired, looking okay, I think you'd have a bit of a job to spot them apart, but let's get it painted now, there's a couple of ways you can do this, you can either spray it with silver, and I've got silver spray paint, but I don't like doing that with the, with the Terminator figure, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of this model silver paint, uh, you can use Vallejo, I'm just using this brand that's what I've got lying around and uh, I'm also going to use uh, one of these really thick brushes and what we do give it a shake pop some on the template get some on the brush this really isn't hard I mean, what we want to do is leave some of the black in the background so that it, um, it looks like a little bit of aging and shading so here we go And like I say, it's not rocket science, just get it on there, paint it on, try not to get too much silver on, you want the black to show through. And there we have it. Yeah. How hard was that? Let's just turn it around so you can see from all angles. But you know, nice big brush, nice paint, and uh, less is sometimes more. So I'm just going to let that dry. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come back to it. We are going to paint the teeth. And then once we've painted the teeth, that's the painting finished. Now, how hard was that? So your T800 has, uh, has had about half an hour or so to dry. That's all it takes really. It's only had a light coat of paint. So now I'm going to paint the teeth. And what I'm using for this is the Army Painter Skeleton Bone. And I'm also going to use just a really thin uh, W Lot brush. And, and these little beauties. Uh, these are magnification glasses with a little torch on there. Um, really really cheap to buy fantastic for the detail so i'm going to pop them on you do have a bit of a comedy look but in the same token uh, i'm not here to uh, win any fashion awards i'm here to paint a terminator so let's get some of the paint there
Okay. And again, how hard was that? Bar the shouting, he's finished. I will just probably pick out a few of the details in his teeth. I'll just get a toothpick and rub some of the paint away just to show some of the gaps between. But, you know, that's the finer details, really. Um, that took me pretty much seconds to uh, to do. And um, and that now the painting is done, it's finished. So the next step will be the LED lighting. So we're at the wiring up stage. I've used a normal USB lead, stripped it apart. Inside there are four wires. There's a red, a black, a green and a white. We don't want the green and the white. That's for data transfer. We're just interested in the red and the black. So all I've done is connected the red wires from the LED to the red wires on the USB and the black wires from the LEDs to the black wire on the USB. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to insulate this really, really well. There's a couple of ways you can do this. You can solder it, but then wrap it in some uh, some tape, some of the special tape that doesn't allow the conductivity through it. Um, or you can just make sure you put them together really, really well. Um, somebody told me one something I use a lot is just put some hot glue all over them, wrap them in black tape, keep them well, well separate. Make sure they can't touch. If they, if they do touch, you're going to short it out. It's going to get really, really hot. So hot glue, wrap it in some tape and uh, stick it all together. And then we're done. Then we've got a USB powered terminator. Let's just, let's just light him up, see what happens. Quick test. There we go. So next time you see, it's going to be all finished. T800 is all finished. Hope you enjoyed the process. And if you could subscribe, that would really, really help me out. And like the video, that would also help me out. And tune in next time to see what we're going to make on our 3D printer. <laughs>